Now, Kenya needs 500 million U.S. dollars, approximately 63 billion shillings, to mitigate the current drought. The First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, is therefore calling for collaboration of global partners to address the crisis. The little village of Losait in Kajado County played host to the First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, who is in the country, among others, to assess the food security situation in Kenya. The First Lady of the United States, Jill Biden, will interact with the residents listening to their challenges and later called for collaboration of global partners to cushion those affected. But we cannot be the only ones. We need to have other countries join us in this global effort to, to uh, help these people of the region. And unfortunately, you know, there's the war in Ukraine, there's the earthquake in Turkey. I mean, there are a lot of competing interests. But obviously, here people are actually, livestock people are starving. The U.S. ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman, underscored her sentiments, painting a picture of the situation in the ground. Malnutrition, we heard a story of a woman who thought her children were okay. She took them and all of them were diagnosed with malnutrition. Dr. Stephen Jackson, the UN resident coordinator, says $500 million is needed to mitigate the situation in 2023 alone. Uh, we think that there are going to be 6 million people in Kenya in need of urgent life-saving assistance in 2023. This is the sixth rainy feet season that will fail in March if that's what happens. World Vision and National Director Gilbert Kamangam also pointed to an increased rate of school dropout due to drought. Ensuring that children uh, remain in school uh, by providing uh, school feeding uh, programs but also uh, building uh, uh, dormitories for uh, the children. For JSS students, junior secondary school has had a dismal about only 50% of um, the learners reporting to school. Over the past six months we've been implementing a program we call Leisha Jami, which is providing uh, cash transfers of 6,500 shillings. The residents who were elated by the visit of the U.S. First Lady hoping that a solution to the perennial drought can be found. Uh, uh, and we have hope that she will do more about more in our lands. The current drought situation has been ongoing for the past three years, with the situation made worse by persistent consecutive seasons of failed drains. With the visit of the First Lady of the United States, Tungata Taekia, in Kajado County, the residents now only hope that the global now turn its focus and give lasting solutions to the drought situation. Serafina Robi from Kajado County.